in this chapter, I want to go through the Terraform configuration file that can be used for the creation of an Azure virtual machine that's based on the operating system of Windows Server 2019. Now, before that, I just want to go through the process of creating an Azure VM in the Azure portal itself. So here I can hit on create in all resources. I can choose the first product that is Windows Server 2019 data center. So this will ensure that the underlying OS, the operating system is Windows Server 2019. Here I can choose my existing resource group. Here I can give the name for the virtual machine. I can choose the region has North Europe. Then I can scroll down. So here the image being used is Windows Server 2019. Then is the size of the Azure VM. So when we create our Terraform configuration file, I'm going to be choosing this size. This allocates two virtual CPUs and eight gigs of memory. If you want to see all of the sizes available, you can click on see all sizes. And here you will see all of the different sizes that are available. I'll just hit on select. Then we have to give what are the administrator account details. So here you will give a username and a password to log into the Azure virtual machine. So you have to ensure that you keep the password in a secure location. And there are some inbound rules. So currently I'll mark this has none. I'll go on to next for the disk. It will allocate an OS disk onto the Azure VM. We can also attach data disks, but I won't do this. I'll go on to networking. So this is going to be part of our Azure virtual network within our subnet. I won't create a public IP address. Here in terms of the network security group, I'll mark this as none. I'll go on to next for management. I'll leave everything as it is. I'll go on to advance. I'll go on tags and then I'll go on to review and create. So let's go ahead with the creation of this virtual machine. This will take around three to five minutes. Now, please note that there is a cost per hour when it comes on to this Azure VM. So if you're using the Azure free account, remember you get the $200 worth of free credit during the first month. So whatever is charged will actually go against that particular credit. If you don't have any credit and if you're using a pay as you go subscription, just ensure to delete the resources once they are not required. Once the deployment is complete, we can go ahead onto the resource. So this is going to create an app VM virtual machine resource. If I go on to all resources, here you can see it has created a virtual machine resource, a network interface, and an OS level disk. So we want to ensure that we create these resources as part of our Terraform configuration file. Now, there are certain aspects that I configured during the creation of the Azure virtual machine. For example, I did not allocate a public IP address. I did not allocate a network security group. Because I want to do or carry out these aspects later on, I first want to go through the basics of creating an Azure virtual machine. So before we go on to our Terraform configuration file, let me go ahead and hit on delete to delete these resources because we are going to create these resources via our Terraform configuration file. Now, in the previous chapter, we had looked at the creation of an Azure virtual network. Now, in this chapter, let's look at the creation of an Azure VM. So let's look at the creation of a Windows-based virtual machine. So I'll go again on to the compute section. I want to look at Azure RM. And I want to go on to Windows virtual machine. If I scroll down, so here again, we have an example on how do we actually create the virtual machine. So here you can see that you can create the virtual network. We've already seen this. 
Yeah, there's a separate resource to actually create a subnet within the virtual network. Now, please note that what we have done is we had actually created the subnet while creating the virtual network. So in Terraform, it was actually allowing us to create the subnet within the virtual network itself during the creation of the virtual network. Since the subnet is part of the virtual network, this is possible. But at a later point in time, if you want to create a subnet within a virtual network, you can also use the separate resource that is pertinent on Terraform and pertinent on to creating a subnet. Now, next is the creation of a network interface. So if you look at the simple creation of an Azure VM, the Azure VM is part of a subnet. The subnet is part of a virtual network. The virtual machine needs to have a network interface in place. So all of the traffic data that flows in and out of the machine actually flows via the network interface. It will also have an OS disk in place. This is required by the operating system. So there's a separate resource creation when it comes on to the network interface. Now, next is the Azure Windows virtual machine itself. And there are a lot of aspects when it comes on to the creation of the virtual machine. So since we already have our virtual network and our subnet in place, let me copy all of this. Yeah, let's go on to our script, right on to our configuration file. Let's add it here. So let's scroll on top. So first is the network interface. So let's give a name for our interface. And here is the actual name of the interface. Next is the location. So again, I can take this from local. I can take the resource group also from local as well. But also remember, we can take it from the resource group resource as well within Terraform. Now, next within the resource of Azure VM, there is a sub property or a sub argument here that's known as IP configuration. So normally the network interface in Azure has something known as an IP configuration. The IP configuration is going to get a private IP address. So this private IP address actually comes from the address space of the subnet within the virtual network. Here it's looking at the subnet ID. So we need to get the subnet ID when it comes on to our Azure virtual network. So how do we get the subnet ID? So one way of circumventing getting the subnet ID, since we have not created the subnet has a separate resource is we can use something known as the data block to actually get information about an existing resource on the Azure platform. So here in the data block, I'm saying, please get information about a subnet. Here, I'm just giving a name for the resource to be used within the Terraform configuration file. Here, I'm giving the name of the subnet. What is the network name and what is the resource group? And now if you want to access the subnet ID, we can do a data.azurerm.subnet.subnet A and then we can fetch the ID. So you can use the data block to actually get information about existing resources. Now in the private IP address allocation, let's leave it as dynamic. Next is the definition of our virtual machine. So here, let me give a name for the resource within Terraform and what will be the name of the virtual machine within Azure itself. So let me finish this off dot resource group and the location. Next is the size of the virtual machine. Yeah, I'll just give a size for the virtual machine. So I normally use this size. So it comes with two virtual CPUs. Next is what is the username you want to give. So this is the admission account details. And what is the password? Please note there are secure ways to actually provide the password. For now, let's embed the password here itself. Now, we need to attach the network interface onto the Azure VM. So here, we need to change our network interface. So it is app 
underscore interface dot id right so this is required by the azure virtual machine then we have the os disk so some properties for this we can leave it as it is and finally what is the image reference here i want to ensure to install or have the vm based on windows server 2019 data center so just changing the version here now i'm going to add a depends on clause yeah i need to ensure that the network interface is in place before the creation of the virtual machine so i'll scroll down and let me add a depends on clause yeah i'll choose the network interface and then for the network interface you can have a depends on clause for the virtual network now please note that for us this will not make a difference because we already have the virtual network in place in azure we created the virtual network in the last chapter let's save this let's go on to the terminal just clear the screen let's create a plan and see if this works so this seems to be fine let's apply this and let's come back once this is complete this might take around three to five minutes now once this is complete if you go on to azure if i go on to all resources i can see i have my virtual machine in place i also have my network interface also in place if you go on to the vm you will see all the details about the vm you will see it is based on windows server 2019 data center